Hey guys, what is up? It's Jay, and today I actually have two smaller Nintendo news pieces that came out of the Nintendo 3DS Direct, which is basically a Nintendo Direct event, but this one was specifically for the 3DS. Um, but one non-3DS thing did come out of it, and that's at the end of this first one here. So the first thing is the new Amiibo they announced for the 30th anniversary of The Legend of Zelda. They released this image showing all four of them, and they all actually look really good. From left to right, we have 8-Bit Link, which is basically the Zelda amiibo that matches up with the 8-Bit 30th Anniversary Mario one. And then next to that, we also have an Ocarina of Time Adult Link. It looks pretty cool. Um, that's probably the one I'm going to buy first. So uh, then after that, we have the next two that are actually a bundled two-pack of Link and Zelda from The Wind Waker. I might actually get that one too because that's one of my favorite Zeldas like versions of Zelda herself. It was also confirmed that all of these amiibos are going to be compatible with the new Zelda title for the Wii U and NX Breath of the Wild. So I really can't wait to see what they do there since the Wolf Link amiibo brings Wolf Link into the game so I can't imagine what these are going to do. So while that news was certainly great, the next one sadly is not so great. Another little piece of information that was revealed was that Mario Maker is now going to be released for the 3DS. I mean, that alone sounds great, right? Well, that's the only good part about this. They've completely taken out the entire point of the game. You can't upload any levels so anyone around the world can play them, nor can you even play levels by choice. They completely took out the option to search for level ID codes and instead put a hundred like a hundred levels made by Nintendo or something. Um, and the only way you can play is the 100 Mario challenges. That's the only way that you can play levels other than there's a randomizer that uh, it's probably going to be a randomizer, but it's like a recommended list. So there is only one good part from all of this, and that is that even though you can't upload levels that while making them, you can do this co-op type mode. I don't, I don't, I don't remember the exact word. I'm not looking at it. And if one of your friends has the same game, the 3DS version of Mario Maker, you can send them your unfinished level and they can put their input into it and put whatever they want and finish the level or do some of it and then send it back to you and then you can go back and forth and finish the level together. But then that all becomes a complete waste of time when you remember you can't even upload the damn thing. So that's literally making that a big waste of time because you can't even do anything with it. Only that other person can play it basically. So you and your friends who are making the level with you are the only ones who can play them. So yeah, I for one am going to be staying far away from this. I don't want it. I will burn a copy if someone tries to give it to me. So I'm just staying away. But both this Mario Maker game and the new Zelda Amiibo collection will be in stores December 2nd, as far as they've told us. Um, so that's just in time for the holidays. Anyway, that is all for this video. Subscribe for more, and I will see you guys later.